and welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> On this video, I want to talk about the cost of an electric bike. And more about the average cost of an electric bike. I get asked quite often uh, what the prices are for uh, electric bikes. People that are not familiar at all, you know, and they want to purchase a bike, they just wonder how much do they have to spend on a bike. And so, I mean, like anything else, it depends. There's a lot of factors that go into it, but I'm going to give you a general uh, cost of a bike. Now, it depends on what type of bike you're getting, first of all. What do you want? So, let's break it into four categories. You got your standard e-bike. And then you've got your folding e-bike. You have your cargo e-bike. And then you have your off-road or off-roading e-bike. And that generally is one that's going to go faster. It doesn't necessarily mean you just, just have to do off-roading on it, but um, if you want to uh, go a little faster. But anyway, uh, so that's the four categories that I would break it down to. And then, on average, the cost would be like for a standard bike it would be anywhere from one thousand to three thousand dollars now this isn't counting sale prices or anything like that this is just a MSRP uh, price it's not a uh, on sale price so you could do better but I'd say one to three thousand for an average bike I'd say typically you're probably going to spend about two thousand dollars on a pretty decent bike and uh, Okay, thank you. And then for your folding bike, you're going to spend... You're going to spend uh, probably $1,500 to $3,000. On average, $1,500 being your lower end. And if you want to get a little bit higher quality uh, folding bike on the higher end of the average price, then you're going to pay uh, about $3,000. So the average average on these bikes would be right in the middle. So if you want the average um, uh, folding bike, it's probably gonna cost you around 2,250, I'd say. And then you've got your uh, cargo bike. Now the cargo bike, these can be a little pricier depending on uh, what kind of cargo bike you get but you can expect to pay anywhere from uh, $1,800 on the lower end to uh, somewhere around $8,000 on the high end this is an average uh, you can go a lot higher I'm sure but this is just an average lower end to higher end and so again on this one you'd probably go somewhere in the middle for a pretty decent cargo bike, um, I'd say you're probably going to have to spend, you know, one that can carry a lot of weight, etc., and 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 handle uh, a lot of cargo. Uh, you're probably going to look at, I'd say, upwards of four thousand dollars probably to get a pretty decent one. Then you got your off-roading bikes. So these are the ones that are going to go uh, beyond the class three 
Uh, so you're typically going to get these bikes, a lot of times they're going to go like 30 plus miles an hour. And uh, these can range you uh, anywhere from about $2,000 to $5,000. And you probably have to spend around $3,500, I'd say, to get something uh, that's right in the meaty middle there of that average. And that would be basically something like what I'm riding at right at the moment. The Aerial Rider Grizzly, this would be right in there. This one would fit right in that category. So uh, this bike is going for, when I bought it, 3300 It has been on sale recently for 3100 I do not know if that sale is still happening or not, but this would give you an idea of what the average off-roading bike would, would probably cost you. And you might be able to get some of these bikes less than that if you get them on sale. Um, or you can get sometimes a discount too if you buy uh, multiple bikes. If you buy two, they generally give you a few hundred extra dollars off, that kind of thing. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how much it would cost. I'd say uh, if you just wanted to get out into the electric bike world and you didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, you can find something for in that $1,000 range just to get started. Um, there's bikes out there like uh, electric, heck you can get electric light and those are like I've seen them as cheap as $7.99, so $7.99 or sometimes $8.99, uh, somewhere in there. That'd be one example of the, uh, the lower end if you just wanted to get into the e-bike world. And just a warning that once you get into this um, world of e-bikes, I'm going to call it, um, it is addicting. So uh, be ready for that. And uh, addicting, but a ton of fun, especially when you get a beautiful day like today. I'm riding right now in 81 degree weather, absolutely perfect. Blue sky, can't beat that. So if you've been kind of uh, sitting on the fence about getting an e-bike and are not too sure, never ridden one before, perhaps you've ridden a traditional bike years ago and it's been a while and, and you kind of are intrigued by the electric bike, if you ever get a chance to test one, I would go for it. I think you're going to uh, love it. I haven't met a person yet who uh, got on an e-bike uh, for the first time and didn't love it. I have yet to hear anybody say, you know what, that's not for me. Everybody that I know of that um, got on one and tried one was, uh, oh yeah. You know, I need to get me one of those. So, they're tons of fun, that's for sure. And if you're like me, 
My choice of e-bike is always the uh, fat tire e-bike and then I'm not real fussy over the style. I can pretty much ride any style. Um, I like them all, but I, my preference is the uh, moped style that I'm on right now. If you've got a comment on this video about uh, e-bike prices, uh, maybe you can let some folks know what you're riding and what you paid for your bike and maybe that'll give some people too an idea of what um, what others out there are riding and what they had to pay for their bikes that would be appreciated and so that's going to do it for this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe thank you very much and also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel so once again thank you for joining me on this video on this beautiful afternoon and until next time Take care.